Ewa! Say my jig for Lagos. Hey boy, are you just seeing a bridge for the first time? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We get bridge for Otweke. You not be like this one. I decline bridge when I won't go fetch water for Mars your car for. <laughs> see moto! See moto! But there are always more than a thousand cars and buses on Third Mainland Bridge at every point in time. Uh, thousand guinea? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Come, let me stem you up. First, let me introduce you to the concept of gravity, discovered by a popular scientist called Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. <laughs> if you jump up, you would see that something drags you down immediately. Mm. Same with any object you throw up. This invisible thing that drags things down is called gravity. We never really needed bridges, you know. All we needed were roads from one place to another. We didn't need to battle gravity to travel. Mm. Until we realized there was a need for us to travel across bodies of water and difficult terrains. We knew roads had to be built to cross over them. This is where we got bridges from. And like I explained earlier about gravity, once an object reaches the ground, it cannot fall down any further. This is why everything naturally tends to remain on the ground like we are now and our houses are. But when we had to lift the beams, we needed supports so that it will not fall down. These supports are the things that hold our bridge in the air and do not allow them to fall down. Mm. Mm. Now let me tell you something. Remember that man I mentioned when I told you about gravity? Isaac Newton! Yes, you are right. You see, his laws of motion are very essential when considering the movement of people and things. For the design of the Third Mainland Bridge, like every other bridge, Newton's third law of motion is the most essential. The law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Eh? Eh? What does that mean? It means that when you push an object, it pushes you back. If I blow you now on your face and it pains you, I will feel pain too in the hand I used. <laughs> Correct. You see, the action and reaction that are mentioned in that law are called forces in physics. It is a push or a pull. And it occurs in pairs. Hmm. It means whatever force you exert on an object, like pushing the object, the object will exert that same force on you. Mm. Think of the time you sit on a chair. The weight of your body is exerted on the chair downward, and the chair needs to exert the same amount of force upward on you. If the chair cannot exert that same amount of force upward on you, it will collapse. You go for down, Yakata. <laughs> yes. For our bridge, it means whatever load you put on the bridge will require an equal amount of load as support at the minimum to push the load upward. Hmm. An engineer's build bridges remembering that the load on it must never be more than the support. Mm. If the load is greater than the support, the support will not hold it and gravity wins. Our beautiful bridge will just collapse. Hi. The way our chair will collapse if heavy weight sits on it in the explanation given to you. Okay. So, now our support they will all the motor and not the people with the inside them? Yes. Hmm. Chai. Now the support they do all the work. Exactly. Mmm, I don't get them. <laughs> don't forget, load wants to come down because of gravity, while support wants to hold it up. Wait, oh, wait, oh, this support, it is on top water. Bam, I don't want to happen. No, the support is actually on solid ground. Engineers made sure they removed water from the places where they built each support by building something to drive away the water there. They built that thing like small dams, and they call it Kofa Dams. Kofa Dam. Kofa Dams. Uh, Kofa Dam. Kofa Dams. Kofa Dam. Okay. How will they work? It allows engineers build something on water. Think of it like um, a space created to remove water from disturbing. Like, um, like... Like rain boots? How do you mean? Uh, sure, they do the same thing like rain boots. They can't wait with the wear for village. Inside rain. With the walk out inside water. But water no they disturb our leg. Hmm, that was an interesting example. I don't get down. 
<laughs> you just got stemmed up. <laughs>